Hi everyone, it's Brittany here from Checkfront. In this video, we're going to go over how you can set up a book now, pay later configuration. This sort of setup may help if you are the type of business that requires an approval process or perhaps some negotiation. The customer will be able to book online, staff will be able to review the booking, and then you will be able to send out a notification to collect payment. So the very first setting is to head into the menu Manage and E-commerce. And in here you'll pop over to settings and you'll want to set the deposit percentage as 0% and we'll save. The next step is to go into your configuration settings which are in manage setup configuration and you'll want to set the customer status uh, default to waiting. The waiting status does not lock inventory. It's basically a potential reservation. So inventory will not be consumed by the customer's booking initially. And you can learn more about that in the menu manage, layout, statuses. And you'll see that by default, waiting should not have this setting turned on. And you can click the help document if you'd like to learn more about statuses. In this menu, you'll need to create a additional status called collect or payment. And this one will lock inventory. You do want it to reserve the inventory at that point. You can customize the color and we'll save. Next is to create a notification that asks for the payment. And that's just done in manage notifications, new notification. In here, you can call the subject line something like uh, booking confirmation, payment required, or something along those lines. And you'd set it to that one we just created. And it would go to the customer. And you could also add staff if you want them to be a recipient as well. You can also choose which items it's applicable to. Uh, I'm just going to default it to everything. And of course, here would be your message. And to the left, you can see these variables, which calls in elements of the particular booking. So if you're to use the um, payment URL one, it will call in a link that takes the customer right to where they can pay. And you just create. It's also important to note that you could not have the, the full link displayed here. You would just Hyperlink the text, please pay here if you wanted to. All you have to do is link, insert link, and just add the variable like so. That's an option as well. So now we can walk through what it looks like as a customer. I'm gonna go to the booking page. And we'll just um, create a booking. Let's say we want to do a two night golf package and we'll book it out, we'll do something in June, for example. I'll fill in some test data. So here you can see the booking uh, went into waiting status, insinuating that we're waiting for another step. And I'll check out as a staff now in the back end. And we can see this booking came through. And if you review and did all your negotiating and you want to send out the request for payment, you can then switch the booking to payment required, send the email notification, and then I'll go check out my inbox. See that I am directed to the payment link. And if I click it, I can just pay. And maybe we'll do a test payment there. And once this is done, of course, I've paid. And if you have another notification set up for the paid status, uh, such as a thank you, uh, that would go through as well automatically. So I hope this helps, but please feel free to reach out to us at support at checkfront.com if you have any other questions. Bye for now.